You feel a spiritual awakening coming on, don't you? I mean, I'd assume so if you clicked on this video. When I started my spiritual awakening journey, I was just Googling left, right, and center, how to know I'm having a spiritual awakening, signs you're having a spiritual awakening, blah, blah, blah. And I would find all these videos that were like 45 minutes, and I'm like, someone just give me the answer. I just want to know if I'm awakening or not. We're all spiritual beings brought to this earth, and I truly believe that at some point in our life, we all have our own awakening. Maybe we'll call it a spiritual awakening. Maybe we'll call it something else because maybe we're not into spirituality or whatever. But here on this channel, we are. And if you clicked on this video, then you clicked on it for a reason. Maybe your soul guided you to it. Maybe your spirit guides led you to it. Maybe you just liked the thumbnail and thought I was pretty. I don't know. All I do know is that you are likely having an awakening. Here is your sign. This is your sign. Okay, let's get into the video. So I don't wanna make this too rambly. So I'm going to sum it up in five signs that you are having a spiritual awakening. You're beginning your process, you're on the journey, whatever you wanna call it, but these are five signs that you are awakening. If you're new here, by the way, my name is Ashley. I make spiritual content. I try to make it easy and digestible for everyone that's new to their journey. I also do vlogs, cooking videos, silly videos. I do it all, but I definitely focus a lot on spirituality on this channel. So if you're into that or you're new to the journey, feel free to follow along. I also have a TikTok. If you like little bite-sized pieces of information, three minutes or less, follow my TikTok. You can keep up with me on there too if you don't always have time to check out my channel. My TikTok account is Ashley Flores TV, just like this channel. I have two accounts. It's not not Ash Flores, it's Ashley Flores TV, because the other one's all about Toronto content. All right, moving on. Number one, these are in no particular order, but I will just say number one too, just to keep track, okay? So number one, you begin to outgrow people. When you start a spiritual awakening journey, you will outgrow so many people in your life. This could be family, friends, parents, whatever. Suddenly all the friends that you have are dropping like flies. Or maybe you make the choice to be like, oh yeah, no, we've outgrown each other. We're different now. I had a friend that I was friends with for, oh my God, like 10 to 15 years, I don't even know. And the more I was awakening, the more I realized that we were just not on the same path. It was just not okay. Like we were just way too different. Anytime we argued, we would never, ever, ever see each other's perspective because we viewed everything so differently. Not to say that my thought process or my way of life is any better or worse than hers, but I definitely felt like I had accessed a deeper level of consciousness and I was able to see things for what they truly were, whereas this person was in a constant state of denial or just being defensive, things like that. It was really hard to communicate with someone like that. And it wasn't just her, it was many friends that I experienced that with. Also, there were some friends that I just didn't really connect with the same way anymore. They did nothing wrong, we didn't argue nothing. It's just like, they didn't connect with me in the same way and I didn't connect with them in the same way. We just weren't on the same path. We were out of alignment with each other. Some friends are here for a season, not a reason. No, what? Some friends are here for, you know what I mean. Some friends are temporary, okay? Maybe you needed to be there for a certain time in their life and vice versa, or maybe, you know, you just outgrew each other. But at the end of the day, when you go through your awakening journey, people will drop like flies. You might go through a big breakup. You might finally cut off your toxic mom, or you might lose three friends. I don't know, but don't take it personally. Just know that it is very, very normal. Your awakening is allowing you to access a higher version of yourself and that higher version of yourself can't take the past baggage with it. You're making room for new, abundant, and fulfilling relationships to enter your life. Don't worry, just trust the journey. Number two, you feel bored and unfulfilled and you are seeking a deeper purpose. So a lot of times while you're going through your awakening, you see things very differently now. For example, things like your job, you might have been okay with it for the past four years and suddenly you've gone through this awakening journey and you're like a whole new person, you see things differently and you're like, what, what am I doing here? You realize how draining it is, you realize how you're doing a disservice to yourself to be going to this place that you hate every single day, you realize how mundane it is, how you it's not stimulating, you just start to see it differently in ways that you never had before. Suddenly it's boring, it's unfulfilling, you hate it and you just want out and you can't settle anymore. You might feel that way about school, you might feel that way about your partner, you might feel that way about anything in your life. Suddenly, it's not that nothing's enough, but you are aware of the fact that you have so much more potential and you have so much more purpose on this earth than to just go to this job every day or go to this school every day and see the same person every day that you've been dating for 10 years. Suddenly you're like, 
I want more and I deserve more. And that's an amazing thing to wake up and see that and want that for yourself. Suddenly you're looking at life differently and you feel like you have a greater purpose on this earth that you feel the need to fulfill. You just don't know what it is yet maybe and you need to discover that. And that's a whole other video that I wanna do. But yeah, you're gonna realize that you were put on this earth for greater things than clocking in and out of a job that you don't really like or care for. Not to say that there's anything wrong with that because there isn't. It's just not the lifestyle for me and I'm assuming if you're on a similar path, it's probably not the lifestyle for you either and that's okay, but do something about it. Number three, you see angel numbers often. Maybe it's 1111, maybe it's 777, 444. Those are the ones that I see all the time. I want you to pay attention to what you are thinking about or talking about when these numbers pop up or maybe the song that you're listening to or whatever the TV show character just said when you see this number, pay attention because these are your guides speaking to you in the ways that they can. Your archangels, your spirit guides, your ancestors, etc. I also suggest that you look up what the number might mean. Sorry it's so bright by the way. I can't really adjust the camera right now so I'm sorry that I look like this. I'm like wearing white in an all white room. I'm the only thing of color in here. Anyways. <laughs> Look up the numbers. For example, 1111 means you're on the right path. Um, 444 has to do with, I think, your guardian angels and twin flames. They all have different meanings, but definitely look them up and see if they're relevant to what you are thinking about in the moment that you see the numbers. The universe is going to send you lots of angel numbers. This is just a sign that they're here with you and they're communicating with you and usually they don't really actively do that unless you are awakened or awakening because that's when you really pay attention. The more you pay attention, the more signs that they will show you and the clearer they will become. Number four, you have increased intuition. Suddenly you're predicting the most random things. I remember when I was going through my awakening, it, it felt like I just completely opened my third eye. I don't even know what was happening. I was predicting everything. I would think about someone and then I'd look to my left and I'd see them on the street. I would say a song name or think it in my head and it'd be at the exact same part when I turned my car on and the radio was on. I would pick up my phone to message a friend and she'd call me at that very moment. I would know what people were gonna say. I was having psychic dreams. I was on top of my shit. I was starting to think, hmm, I should be charging for this because I was like so psychic during like the first stages of my awakening. Now it's on and off depending on what I'm going through. I had like crazy intuition for the past two months and it's kind of chilled out in the past week or so. I haven't really had any weird moment. Oh no, I did have a psychic dream. But yeah, it's like suddenly your intuition is crazy and you're on point with everything. This is because you're more in tune, your body is more in sync with the universe and now that you're paying attention to things, the universe and your angels and, and your consciousness, they're sending you signs and messages because they know that you're able to like decode them and understand them. You're paying attention, you know? So your intuition is gonna be very increased and that's when, like, like I said, the angel numbers start coming in or other synchronicities start happening and you're noticing the synchronicities. I always say there's no such thing as coincidences. I really truly believe that there are no coincidences. Everything's happened for a reason and it's all synchronicities. I don't think that things are like, oh, wow, I thought about her and she happened to pop up. No, there's a reason. It might not make sense now, but it's gonna make sense eventually. So again, pay attention and keep it up here. Number five, you become more emotional. This doesn't just mean like, oh, sappy, sappy. No, this could be you're more angry, you're more happy, you're more sad, your emotions are just heightened. You have increased empathy towards others. I remember when I was going through mine, I would see a homeless person and start crying. I live in Toronto, like there's homeless people everywhere. I'm sorry, is the correct term unhoused people? I'm not too sure, in Canada we still say homeless. I'm not sure, but I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone, but I, I guess I'll just say homelessness for now. Um, yeah, in Toronto there's a lot of homeless people and I help them when I can, but a lot of times, I'm not gonna lie to you, and I, know, I understand this is a privilege that I have, um, but I, I don't notice it sometimes because there's so many. That was me before, but now, ever since I went through my awakening, I notice every single one and I register it and I feel it like I see them and I I want to cry because I'm like how did you get here like I just it's like you're someone's daughter you're someone's cousin you're someone's brother you're someone's sister you know what I mean like I get really empathetic and I just wonder what their story is and I wish I could help them and I see them and I I literally like want to cry half the time and sometimes I tear up. It's not just with that, like with anything in general, somebody tells me a story and I'm just trying not to cry sometimes because I'm like, oh my God, like I don't wanna make this about me, I'm just trying to listen, but I just feel so much towards other people now in a way that I didn't before. I also feel my other emotions are heightened, so my joy is a lot more joyful and a lot more abundant, and my anger, you know what, my anger is kind of like 
I've never I've never been an angry person, so my anger is like pretty leveled. Um, it hasn't really changed much, but I definitely do feel things on a deeper level, and I really believe that comes with a spiritual awakening. Suddenly, um, your chakras are opening, which means, for example, your heart chakra is opening, and that will allow you to feel things deeper. So, although it's sometimes intentional to unblock and open your chakras, at the end of the day, when you're going through the spiritual awakening you are becoming more open. You're like a lotus that is blooming, opening up, and now you're more ready to receive. And that includes emotions, empathy, all that. So that's definitely a telltale sign. Anyways, I know this video was quick, but I just wanted to give you guys a little tidbit of information on the spiritual awakening process. These are five things that you can expect if you are going through the awakening. So keep an eye out for all of those five factors. If you've been going through them, let me know in the comments what's happening in your life lately. What led you to click on this video or look this video up? Like, what is it? What are you going through as a spiritual being that made you feel the need to seek out information on the internet? Because there's got to be something. So I am curious. Maybe you can add to the list and we can see what else we're all going through and just help each other out. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and all that shit. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Again, check out my Tiki Talk and let me know what you think of my videos. Um, I don't really know. I'm just gonna enjoy my day now. It's beautiful and sunny outside. It's I live in Toronto, like I said, so like we've been living in cold fucking weather for so long. Let me check the weather right now. It is 23 degrees, 23 degrees. I got my cute little outfit on and I'm ready to hit the town in my Gucci glasses that I got for free and I didn't pay for. <laughs> it was brand new. <laughs> Anyways, well, I'm just rambling at this point. Thanks for watching, <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>